Mixed feelings tonight for hundreds of families whose kids will have to move to a new school next school year. Rio Rancho Public Schools has new boundary lines. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is in the newsplex with why and reaction. Jessica, the new Joe Harris Elementary School will open in August. So now the district has new boundaries for its elementary schools. Parents say they're trying to prepare their kids for the big change. Just kind of sad, you know, like I just we don't want to change schools and so um, not very happy or excited. Rio Rancho parent Jessica Hill is letting the news sink in after last night's school board vote. Her daughter is one of the hundreds of kids that will have to change schools because of new boundary lines. She's not happy because she's like, we're, you know, are my friends going to be there? The school district says Martin Luther King Jr. and Maggie Cordova Elementary Schools are over capacity. So they built the $24 million Joe Harris Elementary School at Westside Boulevard and 10th Street. These are the current and future boundary maps. Overall, about 200 students will move to the new school. We are aware that it's uh, a change for families and change can be tough. Kim Vesley with the district says they will plan events to help new students adjust. There is an exception. The board adopted a provision that would allow families to request fourth graders to stay. The students that are going into fifth grade, they've been there since kindergarten. They're really established. They've, they've got all their friends. They just have one more year left before they are going to be moving to middle school. Online, some parents are happy the schools will each be under 800 kids, and that traffic will improve at MLK. It is very crowded, you know, in the morning drop off. Hill says she understands why the changes need to happen and is using it as her own teaching moment for her daughter. Trying to keep the positive and think of this as like a new adventure. Other than incoming fifth graders, the district is not accepting requests to keep students at MLK. It says MLK is undergoing major construction next year and having fewer kids at the school will help. Jessica. All right, thank you, Annalisa. The work is not done yet. The district is now working on rerouting school buses to match the boundary changes.